So this is a finished trig ratio calculator which has been made by programming a dynamic geometry file to do the calculations for us. So let's have a quick look at the features of this finished trig ratio calculator. So I have a triangle here which has a permanent right angle in that corner there and the angle in this corner here is changed by moving this slider here, that is the angle up there. So what you can see is as I change the angle that the trig ratios change accordingly. So currently that says sine 35 is 0 0.57 and it gives us a value for cos 35 and tan 35 and those values change as I change the angle. Those are the same values that you should get when you uh, press the button sign 25, for example, in your calculators. Remembering, of course, that these answers are rounded to two decimal places. So the other feature that I can change is that once I, if I fix the angle, if I leave the angle there, say at 25 degrees, I can change the size of the triangle. I can see that whilst the side lengths of the triangle change when I do that, the trig ratio sine 25 does not change. The proportion of the sides remains the same. It doesn't matter how big or small I make this triangle, the trig ratios do not change as long as I keep the angle the same. They only change when I change the angle.